Welcome back. Tonight I'm going to talk about drive shaft phasing. And I did not understand what this even meant until today. I'd heard about it before, but it just went right over my head. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, what you're looking at is the ends of the drive shaft. This end, the uh, flange yoke, and this flange yoke. That's the end part. And what you want to see, if it's properly aligned, is... And let me kind of turn this what you want to see is this one here that makes a C and this one here makes an opposite C I don't know if you can tell but they're lined up this little uh, pin is the hinge for this one and this pin is the hinge for this one and they're parallel to each other okay if they're not parallel parallel to each other that's bad this one is in phase because this C shape matches this C shape. They're pointing directly at each other. When we look at this rear drive shaft, it is not in phase. We have a, a, a horizontal C shape here on the outer portion, but over here it's vertical. See, we should, if this was in phase, this would be turned 90 degrees. So this one is 90 degrees out of phase. The inner portion makes a C shape. The outer portion is a, a vertical C. See that? Vertical instead of the horizontal. And I'll post a link to another video that kind of shows some things that um, happen that are bad when your drive shaft is out of phase. Uh, basically, it'll have a, uh, during the rotation, it'll have a, a fast side and a slow side. And it has to do with the way these things bind up. I've got a dry shaft from a Red Cat Gen 7 here, and this one is in phase because, uh, let me move this out of the way just so it focuses better. See how both of the ends are lining up. If I move that, they point directly at each other. One is not rotated like this. See how that's not, that's not what you want. You want them both pointing straight at each other and when they are pointed straight at each other there is no fast or slow side it just it just works here I'll push this together out of phase so you can see how that is um, I've got the gap here the hole this this bump on this side it should be the same but here the gap is on the other side, it's on the inside of the hinge rather than the outside of the hinge. This is 90 degrees out of phase. Stick it back together properly. And that should work right there. Good. So now you can see that the gap is on the inside, the gap is on the inside. And what that allows us to do is when it rotates, the equal angles compensate for each other and there is no fast or slow portion in the rotation and they don't bind up as easy. If you have that out of phase, it can create a bind that will actually uh, get really hard on these, these uh, joints right here and it can tear them apart. And I think that may be part of the reason why I lost so many Red Cat Gen 7 uh, drive shafts when I first got my red cap other than the fact that it's plastic and I drive it really hard in pretty harsh conditions but uh, uh, just once again take a look at the uh, SCX 24 and I'll try to get this spun see this one's n just one more time this is a vertical C that's a horse this is a vertical C here, and that's a horizontal C. 90 degrees out of phase. This is horizontal. Or, I'm sorry, the, we'll go by the inner one this time. The inner portion is horizontal, inner portion is horizontal. It hooks to the outer portion, so same thing is true. Just if I rotate at 90, these and these match, and these and this one matches, but this one doesn't. Because this portion here is out of phase 90 degrees. 
They don't have to match each other front and back. I don't think that matters at all, but they do have to match on the individual drive shaft. Uh, check the link in the description. I've also got a bit shoot channel in case YouTube ever goes down and I'll try to start putting videos in both places. Um, it's racing and rock crawling and I've got underscore between the words. It's all capitalized and uh, I'll leave a link with that and also a link that kind of shows you there's another guy that did some leg work to uh, he does a real nice job in, in uh, demonstrating the uh, effect of a drive shaft that's out of phase so um, it's pretty simple but uh, I never understood it until today